Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the cancel culture nonsense of cancelling Dr. Zeus and Pepe Le Pew and various other innocent um, things from the world of uh, children's entertainment. Stick around and listen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, six of the books of Dr. Zeus have been removed from um, public uh, consumption. I, I think it was actually the Dr. Zeus company decided to uh, to sort of uh, just do that itself. Um, you know, I mean, obviously, there would have been somebody complaining uh, about them from, um, you know, the various, ca the world of cancel culture. And once again, more completely innocent things uh, that really just um, shouldn't be banned, are banned, and cancel culture once again extends its overreach. Um, Pepe Le Pew was recently banned, the comic uh, cartoon where the kind of overly amorous kind of uh, skunk um, well, chases the cat who has the uh, kind of paint that goes down the back of it. He assumes that the cat is a is a female uh, skunk and he's chasing her around. I mean, this was again, was an innocent comic that just, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just funny and uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with any of this stuff. And of course, Mr. Potato Head, um, obviously Mr. Potato Head made the grave error of, of being gendered. And obviously no one had ever consulted Mr. Potato Head whether he was actually a mister. So obviously that's something else that's worrying the cancel culture crowd. So I think, I think well, in relation to Mr. Potato Head, I think they announced they were going to get rid of Mr. Potato Head, who's just going to become Potato Head. But then um, they decided, I think, to stick with Mr. Potato Head. So we might have had a little victory there. So we have to look into that. I think Mr. Potato Head might stick around. And then of course, Golden Gay Time, they had to go, you know, I mean, um, that, that sounds like, I mean, Golden Gay Time, that sounds like something that the gay community should be supporting. Why do they want to ban that with cancel, cancel culture? It's very weird. But this is, once again, this kind of strange, kind of creeping cancel culture. It's something, it's almost like a kind of something from the world of H.P. Lovecraft, some kind of weird octopus that's kind of like going around and cancelling stupid things throughout our culture. It's utterly ridiculous. And uh, it obviously it isn't finished. Um, we're just in the middle of, of, of what it's doing at the moment. Um, you know, if, I mean, how long is this going to go on for? I mean, everything will eventually be banned. I mean, because they've already banned so much and sent so many things to the sin pen. It's absolutely ridiculous. And yet we have something like Cardi B, which is singing like WAP at the Grammys, which is basically, she's like a, a dime store hooker, um, waving her ass about like a cheap hoe. And it's absolutely revolting. And this is, you know, apparently G-rated entertainment for children. So obviously Cardi B is all right waving her ass around, but Dr. Zeus and Pepe Le Pew, that's got to go. You know, I mean, it won't be long before Donald Duck and Buck Bunny are on the way out as well. So we just want to say we reject all forms of cancel culture here at the report from Tiger Mountain and we reject Cardi B as a revolting fucking dime store hoe and um, you know let's get our priorities straight. We need to get our society uh, back on a level of common sense and um, you know stop cancelling things that are innocent and stop promoting things that are clearly wrong like Cardi B. So let's just wake up you know society, wake up you know um, people because something's going on and it, we all know it's orchestrated by the globalists. It's all part of their plan to destabilize us, weaken us, and destroy us, and we want to reject it. And that's what we're doing here at the Report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.